I think that that inconsistency maybe comes from uh, maybe may, maybe game preparation. Maybe I could have got prepared for the, maybe for a little game for the game. That's not, I, I thought I'd, I tried to do everything I could, but you never know until the game actually happens what, what, what you could have done and what was different than what you thought was going to happen. And maybe from maybe, maybe I, I can take better steps into the, in the future in preparation. <clears throat> so that's pretty much about consistency. Marty, you uh, two sacks in the season so far. If I'm not mistaken, you think you'd be in the team in that category. Uh, you always been known as a pass rusher. I know you play safeties, but you don't like the safeties. Actually, I've never. I've never been blitzing before this year. This is the first time I've actually got a chance to blitz, but I think I like it. I think I like it a lot. I think, I think it's something they'll keep, keep making you do. Well, hopefully, I think I have a knack for it, and hopefully the defensive coaches will keep that in the game plan. Uh, what was the feeling after you got that, uh, you know, you got the sack and you forced, forced the fumble? How were you feeling that time? Well, the forced fumble was last week, but I know I felt, I just felt, I just felt great for that, that I was able to get a, a turnover for our defense because we we made sure to emphasize that over the off season and we're going to continue that. We need to that's probably the area that we, that we need to improve in is getting the takeaways and so I was happy I got to do that and get my first sack in my college career. What's your thoughts about the defense as a whole? I know you have some inexperience back there. Um, what areas do you see? <coughs> Uh, honestly, I think that we know the scheme. Coach Thompson puts us in the exact place that we need to be. It's just we need to tackle. We just need to finish tackles, wrap up, and be mean at the point of attack. You mentioned takeaways. What else do you think needs to be better? Well, as I said, tackles is number one thing. And I think it's just, it's just playing, playing with the intensity to where to where no one can beat, like to where we think or do we believe that 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 no one can run, like run the ball or pass the ball, and that for that matter on us. I think that we had um, a certain confidence that we went in the Florida State and how we played the first half of that game that we haven't got back to in the uh, yet this season. Maybe maybe we just or I don't know what, what what's going on right there, but I know going back to Houston this week. Half the team is from Houston. We're probably more than 60% of the team is from Houston. Uh, more than half the defense has got recruited by their by the co-defense coordinator over there, Coach Navar. So, it's, so I feel like like this game we're going to go into having a much better spirit and sense of urgency about ourselves as a defense. Can you elaborate more on what it's like to play against guys who played against high school, played against high school, and like, I guess the coach that recruited all the guys, like you just said. Well, it's just, well, since, well I, I, going to the coach that recruited us, uh, you know, the coach that recruits you out of high school, you get, you get offers out of high school or you get, like, recognition or whatever, and you come to a school, and that's the first um, contact you have or throughout, the, throughout the process. And it's just, and you, and you just want to, you just want to perform, like, for the, like, in front of the person or in front of the people that, who believed in you in the first place to get, to get you here. And I think that uh, that yeah that that since most of us got recruited by or got recruited by them, that it's going to be a whole nother level to this game than any, than number four the season. You know any other players on that team? I know two that went to my high school. I don't I don't really keep track of the other players on the roster. Can you communicate with those two? Uh, infrequently, but. Yeah, not not recently. Do you remember that shocker, that unbelievable game Texas put Texas State put on U of H a couple years ago? Yeah, that was actually my redshirt year. Uh, yeah. So yeah, it was it was it was a shock, but I feel like it was, it was the atmosphere around the program going into that game was that we were going to win, and I don't think anyone else believed in the nation. And I think it was. Like one of the biggest upsets as far as spread points. I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a gambling man, but I heard that's what I heard, and uh, and I feel like, and I feel like, we we know what it's like to go down there and win, even though it's a new stadium, 
we know what it's like to go down to Houston, take that short flight, and uh, and go down there and win. I feel like that's that experience is going to help us through. I know there's only the, only the redshirt seniors probably that are the, are the ones that have played in that game. Are the are the true seniors, I guess. Anybody that's a senior is the one that people that played in that game, and I think they have they're going to have a certain uh, if or a certain sense of urgency about themselves to go play that game too. Well, they got a lot of buzz down there right now. They're undefeated. They got a new coach. A lot of hype and talk around them. Uh, the Bobcats going in their same mindset, just rain on the parade and show them who's boss when it comes between the Cougs and the Bobcats. Uh, yeah, I know they have. Um, I, don't, I don't know they have some slogan like Houston takeover, but uh, but I think but I think we have confidence in what we're doing and in the process that we put in all off season and everything, and and we're not going to let one little game or one little game damper over one little game impede our progress because we have our goals that we know what we're going going into and going for. And I think and I think we're gonna be able to go in there and get the W. I think this is the last non-conference game coming up. Uh, you guys have a chance to do 500 or any non-conference music record. Um, how important to you is this game? Scale of one to ten. How big is this game? What is it for the Bobcats? Every game is important to us because our slogan this year is "Leave No Doubt," and we don't, we want to win every game possible for or so that there's no question come December where we're supposed to be as far as bowl selection and that matter. So every game is important. I couldn't give you a scale from one to ten because every game is important. Every game is a ten. Every game is a ten. Secondary in particular, you've been having trouble forcing some turnovers, and Coach Thompson in the past has been pretty good about that. What do you think the key is to getting uh, some more turnovers? Is it getting more pressure on the quarterback? Is it something the secondary needs to do? I think it's just a team effort. Uh, everybody, everybody who can impact the ball has to have a, a mindset to impact the ball. If the ball is in the air, it has to be our ball. If the ball is on the ground, it has to be our ball. If the ball is loose in the running back's hand, it has to. We have to want to take it away. Uh, if if there's if there's a chance to get pressure on the quarterback to force a bad throw, you have to get there. You have, it's, it's just everybody on the field has to do their one eleven. In order, in order for that to uh, pick up like we needed to. It means, it means everybody on the field. There's 11 players out there, and each person does their assignment to the best of their ability every play, and make sure they handle what they have to handle and not do uh, anything more than what they can't, what they have to do. I think that sometimes some of the uh, Coming back to the inconsistency in our play as a defense comes to us wanting to do every us wanting to do everything it, it, we can do to get or to to affect the ball and and like and have them behind the chains and do everything and and, and bust them out and bust like good plays on them, but um, but you just have to do your job. If everybody does their job, then then there's no room for the offense to to uh, make yards and well I mean everybody's going to make yards in the game but but it but it limits the ability for them to have any gashes big plays anything like that if everybody does their job every play